Hello, everybody, and welcome inside the Rockwall Sports Center Key Talk Update. I'm Chris Curtis, joined by the captain of the broadcast for the Hawks, Steve Deer. And Steve, a very, very happy home opener for the Heath Hawks. They are now 2 0 after a 38 0 shellacking of LD Bell. A defensive battle for the Hawks. They got the shutout. Yeah, um, always nice to be home. Uh, Hawks always show up well on their home turf. And uh, yeah, well, anytime you get a, a shutout, especially when you step up in class, 6A level, we talked last week about LD Bell will present more of a challenge than Sulphur Springs in terms of just shot, uh, size and depth. Hawks handled it with no problem. It was a nice win. Now talk about something that you might have witnessed on Friday night that kind of might have surprised you just a little bit. I obviously know the running game looked good, the McAllister boys looked great. Uh, what looked good for you out there? Well, the defense, you got to start with that. Like I said, anytime you pitch a shutout, uh, that's an impressive win. I don't care who the competition is. Now, this is a team that the week before hung 28 points and, and almost beat Keller Central, who's not a bad team, took them to overtime. You take a team like that, that first week is clicking enough to put almost 30 points on the board, and then you shut them out. That's a nice surprise. And we were commenting in the booth about the Hawks all over the field. They were just flying to the ball. They were in bunches hitting the, the carrier. Uh, it was hard to really call out one tackler or, or one person making the play because usually you had three or four guys uh, arriving at the ball at the same time. It was really good to see. Now, I know we talked a lot about earlier in this year we lost a lot of defensive power in 2014, that big stout defense we saw last year that everyone was talking about. Little glimpse of that this year with the younger guys. Kind of talk to me about that defense and how it looked to you. Well, you gotta first you gotta to recognize Clay Wilkerson, Zach Dobbins, Grant Buckhold, the three guys coming back that did have varsity experience from last year. Uh, these guys are leading the way. Buckholt with interceptions in two straight games, touchdown catches in two straight games. He's had two really good games to start the season. The workers and the Dobbins are all over the field. But yeah, you add some speed, uh, McAllister, Nichibo, some of these guys that just have just raw speed out there. That's hard to, uh, to game plan against if you're on the offensive side. Uh, they've got speed all over the field. And the coaching staff talks about how this is a, an element that not so much was around in the last couple of years. Yeah, you had some speed uh, in the last couple of years with, uh, with some of the players that are now gone, but more so spread throughout the entire team and on defense right now. You've just got pure raw athleticism and speed. And, and uh, like I said, that's hard to game plan against. Ichibo obviously has one of the greatest names in all of high school football this year. Mo Julian Ichibo, <laughs> yeah, that's a fun one to say. Absolutely. Well, you got to think Mickey Moss is happy with his team's 38 nothing victory over LD Bell. Let's hear what he had to say. Well, it was good. <laughs> Anytime you win like that and uh, develop a big league going in the fourth quarter and you have a comfortable level and you get kids in the ball game and I guess the biggest thing, though, is execution. I was really proud of our kids in the second ball game, just the amount of execution, how much we improved in that. Uh, their eyes weren't quite as wide open and big going into this one. They're developing a little bit more confidence. Um, you know, we still, obviously, mistakes are going to happen in the game, and we'd like to cut down the number of mistakes we had. But very proud of our kids. Uh, well, the, the overall effort, offense, defense, special teams, you all did a great job. But Heath Hawk 2-0 train will continue moving on. It's going to head off to Arlington this Friday at 5 o'clock, an early kickoff for all Hawk fans. So be sure you leave early out there to get out to Jerry's World AT&T Stadium. Here we go. The Hawks have a chance to go 3-0 before district starts. Tell me what you're going to look for. Keys to the game against Garland. Well, first of all, let's talk about Cowboy Stadium, AT&T Stadium, I guess. Um, you got to be politically correct on that. That's right. Well, <laughs> yeah, give them their just desserts. They put, paid a lot of money there for that name. Um, how are the young kids going to respond to being in that kind of venue? Uh, we've, we've got so few kids that were there on the team and played there last year. Uh, you can say, hey, we're going back for the second straight year, but for most of the kids on this team, it's their first year. And so being in that kind of a venue, uh, the youngsters on the team that haven't been uh, there before, are they going to be wide-eyed? Are they going to be awed by their surroundings? Or are they going to get over it pretty quick and then focus on the task at hand, which is Garland Owls? And, of course, Rockwell Heath played Garland at Garland last year, 21-14. It was a pretty physical battle all the way around the boards. Now, Bob, are we going to be seeing that same thing this year? Well, yeah, I hope so, because Garland brings an element, uh, well, it's definitely a step up in class from what they've seen so far. Uh, this early in the season, it's really hard to tell what kind of quality you have in competition, I think. Uh, a lot of that has to do with the Hawks showing up and being really good themselves, and that's made the other teams look uh, maybe more poorer for lack of a better word, not as good as they, they may look otherwise. Sulphur Springs came back in one Friday night, so that shows that they, they've got something. Um, but uh, they're stepping up this week. Garland Owl is a, uh, they're a, a better team than what the Hawks have seen. They bring much more athleticism, uh, a much more high-octane offense than what the Hawks have seen so far. 
So um, yeah, uh, they're going to have to get over the awe of being in AT&T Stadium pretty quick and focus on those guys because if not, they'll find themselves behind the eight ball pretty quick. It's going to be interesting to see if they can go 3-0 and in non-district. Let's hear what Mickey Moss has to say about the bright lights of AT&T and playing Garland. You know, I think for them, just the opportunity and what a blessing to get to go and play on that field and that stadium. Uh, you, you know, just the uniqueness of that. I remember years and years ago when um, South Garland and we'd get to play in Cowboy Stadium or Texas Stadium at that time and and how rare and unique that was. The kids get to experience that. Uh, I think the same thing for AT&T, probably the world's greatest sports venue. Uh, we're going to get to play on that in Texas high school football on a Friday night. And I said, that's pretty awesome. And of course, we have to give a shout out to the new and improved over at Heath, Heath High School, the dark side. The dark it's the side. It's no, the opposite man. of the student swarm at Rockwell. Now we have the dark side over at Heath. And it brought their A game on Friday night. We could hear them all the way up in the booth. It's uh, nice to see that kind of support. These young guys uh, obviously bringing a new wave of Hawk fans out there. And they've nicknamed themselves the dark side. But uh, I think LD Bell must have heard them the other night. Because oh, yeah. they, they felt the dark side on Friday night. And of course, we are traveling to AT&T Stadium. This Friday kickoff is at 5.30. The dark side, Steve Deere and his crew and myself will all be there. Uh, early kickoffs, we'll get there early at 5 o'clock. And don't forget to listen to Steve and his company at www.rockwallisd.com. Any final thoughts for this Friday? Well, I mean, yeah, 5 o'clock kickoff. So put in your early release uh, request now and get over there and support us. And like you said, if you can't make it over there by 5, then listen in to me and the guys as we call the game. And, of course, we'll get you a bag of $100 M&Ms with a little cowboy star on there for you. So cool. That's all, all right. Only Give me the energy start. to make it it's through only this game. It's only 100 bucks, right? right? We got yeah. that oh. in our budget. <laughs> all right. It's www.rockwallisd.com. We'll see you then. Have a great time, Hot Nation.